Hi guys, my name is uh, Matt McMean, here doing uh, a guest video on my good buddy Pierre Trudank's channel. And uh, since I'm guessing that most of you aren't uh, familiar with me, I am a monarchist. Yes, we still exist. And I'm going to be, you know, the video I'm making today is uh, the case for monarchy because I feel like it's kind of unfairly brushed aside as this antiquated, old, you know, uh, dumb, illogical idea. And I'm going to, you know, prove to you why we should have monarchism globally. So your first objection, of course, is, well, it makes, that makes no sense. Monarchy makes no sense. It makes no sense to, you know, uh, pass the reins off, <clears throat> you know, just to, not to anyone based on merit or based on democracy or anything, <clears throat> but, you know, just to whoever the king's eldest son is. And uh, you're right. It does make no logical sense. And I and uh, any monarchist will uh, agree with you on that. However, think about it, okay? Isn't monarchy just cool? Like, haven't you ever read a, you know, a fantasy novel? And the king was, like, really cool. And then he died, and the king's son had to avenge his death. And then he became, like, the best king. Isn't that just, like, really cool? Right? Yeah, you're feeling it. And that is one of the big, big advantages of monarchism. It plays, you know, perfectly into human emotion. Everyone can rally behind the king. Everyone likes the king. Um... And, you know, it's just as good for uh, human nature. Uh, but, you know, that's, it's, not, it's not the only reason why monarchism is great. Um, there are a few things that would change socially that I think would really um, improve on our current, you know, uh, capitalist thing. Because, you know, I hate capitalism, too, all, all you commies out there. I, I hate it, too, okay? Um, you know, I, want, I just want to go back to barter. But anyway... Uh, I think there's three, three big uh, societal changes that would happen under a monarchist society. So the first one is that um, incest would be normalized again. And, you know, if you're like me, you, <laughs> you think that's pretty good. I mean, it would mostly stick around the more noble houses, of course, um, as has been the case, you know, uh, in history before. However, with the current technology of mass media and all that, I'm sure that the uh, the peasants would, in fact, um, you know, they'd, they'd see that the nobles intermarry, and they'd think that's cool, so then they would go and fuck their sister as well. So I think that, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. I think that's, you know, it's... Uh, normalizing a form of sexuality that is usually kind of demonized right now, and I think that that is good. Uh, number two, it would normalize pedophilia finally at last. Think about it, okay? Um, how old is Juliet in Romeo and Juliet? She's 13, bro. You ever seen an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet? She's usually hot as shit. And now, under my monarchist government, we can, you know, we can find our own 13-year-old Juliet um, and uh, kill ourselves together. And isn't that really all anybody wants, okay? Um, now, obviously, we're not monsters. We're not going to be going around having sex with babies or anything. But 12-year-olds? Um, That's you know, probably that. And finally... Uh, Big, big important change. We're going to go back to swords. And, you know, lances and shields and the uh, ballistas, all that kind of stuff. We're going back. Because, you know, once, because obviously, the, once the global monarchist revolution occurs, um, you know, no, who, guns and nukes and planes and tanks and bleh, it's all just gross. So we're all going to mutually disarm, we're all going to throw into a fire or break or throw into the ocean or whatever. All these gay-ass new weapons 
And we're going to start forging some fucking swords and some fucking shields. And we're going to get back to good old-fashioned feudal combat. It's going to be great. So yeah, I hope uh, I was able to, uh, to present some good points, some uh, convincing points. And uh, if you're interested in uh, more monarchy, hit up my channel at youtube.com slash user slash Matt McMeme. Uh, yeah.